Brian Finnegan. South America's biggest nation has played host to the continent's leaders. It's part of a drive by Brazil's left-wing president, Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva, to create a regional political and economic bloc. There's strength in unity, as the saying goes, and it's one of the former trade union leader will be hoping applies to neighboring states too. A single currency for South America is one plan he's keen to develop to reduce dependency on the US dollar. He wants more cooperation in areas that include trade, health care, the environment and fighting organized crime. But the presence of Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro caused some division. Our Latin America editor Lucia Newman tells us more from Brasilia on what was discussed behind closed doors. It is the first time in nearly a decade that leaders of all the South American countries actually sit down face to face, actually behind closed doors, and speak frankly about the possibility of finally put, right, laying out the groundwork for regional integration. It is something that they all feel strongly about, particularly at a time when the world is forming into different blocks. They all believe that South America has to have a voice. It is a economically important part of the world. Uh, altogether, they make up uh, the fifth largest economic bloc in the world. And uh, right now, their voices are not being heard because they are divided. Certainly, that seems to be the, what, the argument that they are making. However, it's been very difficult to bring about. President Lula, when he was last president, uh, created UNASUR, and that is the Union of South American Nations that was supposed to be the, the building bloc for this regional integration. However, it fell apart when the political pendulum in this region swung from the left to the right. The presence of Venezuela's leader, Nicolás Maduro, was somewhat divisive. Some of the presidents believe that he is an authoritarian leader and they had no problem telling him so to his face. But Maduro was actually very conciliatory. He simply did not answer the criticisms and said that he was happy to just agree to disagree on those issues. In the end, all the presidents were happy to be able to all sit down together for the first time in so long and work towards something that they all believe is important. As President Lula said, uh, after 500 years, and that is a reference to the arrival of Columbus in the Americas, we finally have to be able to leave from the margins and have our voices heard.